An Algerian passenger yells out in desperation. The young man must leave France against his decision. The scene's an example of how difficult forced repatriations are. Deportations are at a 10-year high in France, but less than 20% of them actually end up back in their country of origin. This morning at Paris' Charles de Gaulle airport, a South American man is spending his last hours in the country. Having arrived without money or a return ticket, he must leave the territory by a court order. This requires a lot of administrative resources. In this room, people from Mali, Tunisia and Afghanistan are waiting to be sent home. Most agree to travel alone, but 30% refuse to go and must be escorted by border patrol agents. This 29-year-old South American has refused to board the plane twice. The officers say he's been uncooperative and believe they don't have a choice in the matter. His arms and legs are restrained to avoid any chance of resistance, self-harm, or attempt to hurt the officers or other passengers. The convoy is approaching the airport's runway now, and the young man seems to have resigned himself to the situation. Surrounded by several police officers, with the pilot's permission and before the other passengers board the plane, he and his escort are seated in the back. Fortunately, today went smoothly. This deportation policy, however, has a cost. The government spends 14,000 euros per deportee. In 2018, France spent more than 468 million euros to deport over 33,000 individuals. These numbers were obtained by Jean-Noël Barraud, a member of the French National Assembly and the author of a report on forced repatriation. After visiting several administrative centers for processing, he has underlined the daily difficulties surrounding deportation. Around 2,000 cases have had problems due to there either being a lack of planes going to a given destination, an absence of seating, or problems surrounding the flight itself. And then for about a thousand cases, there's been a problem finding enough personnel to organize and escort deportees to the airport on a given day. In addition, the French representative brings up another problem for the country, diplomatic obstacles. In order to send individuals back, a consular pass must be obtained from their country of origin. Every month, French law enforcement requests several consulates to sign hundreds of these passes as to repatriate individuals. While some countries abide by the process, many have been unwilling or unable to fill the required paperwork. These passes have become a diplomatic priority for President Macron, who has threatened retaliatory measures. I have named an ambassador responsible for immigration and negotiations with the countries and told all the countries I will no longer deliver visas. The strategy seems to be working. Consular pass acquisition has increased from 36 to 58 percent in the last two years. Besides diplomatic issues, there are also processing errors. Sanjay Navy is a lawyer specializing in foreigners' rights in the French city of Lille. He looks for procedural defects that threaten individuals with deportation and tries to cancel them. Bonjour, monsieur. Vous suivez? Today, he's defending a young Albanian, a Moldovian, and two Iraqis. After two hours in court, the judge canceled the deportation of the Moldovian and the Albanian men.
For one of the cases, the prefect had considered that the foreigner had not asked for a residence permit, despite the fact we could prove it was sent by registered mail. In the second case, the prefect sent a document that was about someone completely different. It was a paperwork error, an irregularity in the procedure, and thus the judge quickly annulled the decision. On average, according to the lawyers we spoke to, the courts cancel over 20 percent of deportation cases. Having been stopped by the police and threatened with forced repatriation, the two young men from Albania and Moldova were able to stay in Lille. However, if they do not obtain a residence permit by the next time they are controlled by the authorities, they will once again be under the threat of leaving France.